Art for me is something that just makes you happy, essentially. From the beginning, I've been very observant of my surroundings. On the street, I would look at typography in a certain way. So doodling by design is minimal because its roots are in function. That means that there's no embellishment, there's not a lot of design elements in that. So by definition, it's raw. It's uh, supposed to be minimal. That's the intent. And that's where I draw my inspiration from. So the brief was to design the bike in my own style. A lot of my work looks at icons, typography and system design that I've seen around me reflect into the work. So it's essentially a mirror of what the street looks like. They have a thing called warp drive on the scooter, which basically is the fastest mode. I wanted to convey it through this idea called Warp into the Future, which basically visualizes this hypothetical machine that exists in the future, possibly a version 9. My vision for the scooter was all white, because minimal, because functional. And the graphics essentially come from the stickers that we see on the street. It's got information on it, it's got iconography, specs of the machine, and all of those things. Like if I'm telling a story about future, for example, I'll want to be as hypothetical as I want because there's 100% freedom. You have something like a Snapdragon 600, much, much, much more stronger than what you already have on the current vehicle. Essentially what I've done is mix them with uh, hypothetical figures. So real figures versus hypothetical figures just kind of have this nice balance of uh, now and then. Merged with AI, the future is amazing for any brand that has a first right of test in this. Either is one of those brands that is possibly getting into this. Somewhere along the line, they'll continue to evolve their products and uh, get into a place where it becomes commonplace for just the common man on the street to you know, know about those uh, pieces and technologies and use them in their own daily life. Now we may not be able to create the future yet, but who's to say that we cannot talk about it?